live and work in Nicholasville can mark the passage of the day by the chimes that ring from the courthouse tower. Every hour on the hour. With a trusted timepiece that becomes so familiar, no one gives it much thought. That is, until time stands still. Some people watch them religiously and Johnny on the spot, they gotta get the thing fixed quickly or whoever's in charge of maintenance will hear about it. Clock man. Hey, clock man. Come in. Can we go on up? Okay, good. David Neal is the man who goes up when the clocks go down. Anytime you go in these old towers, make sure you have plenty of flashlights. I've got three on me as we speak. About 15 years ago, with no training whatsoever. No, it does fit great. Neil took it upon himself to inspect a stopped clock in his hometown of Stanford. In no time, he turned it into a well-oiled machine. Hardcore purists will say clock oil all the way. They all evaporate. Then he noticed the Boyle County clock was out, fixed it, then Pulaski. And now he's worked on about a third of the 120 courthouses in Kentucky. Trial and error. I'm naturally mechanical, thank goodness. It's a job with many levels. No room for the faint-hearted. He reaches the clock itself first, which is smaller than you may think. In his heyday, this thing was cool. It's still cool. This work takes Neil back. It is April 15th, 1879. To the days before electricity, when the clocks ran by springs and pendulums. Get him wound up and he'll tick off an alarming amount of facts about clocks. This big rascal is a fan, this would just sit there, tick, talk. Rack and snail systems. Most of these clocks were made in the mid to late 1800s, so about the only place you would find replacement parts would be a museum. Therefore, David has to make a lot of the parts himself. Twice a year, he comes up here to clean off the grime, grease the gears, and wait for the top of the hour to check for accuracy. Getting close, you know what that monkey said when he cut his tail off? Won't be long now. This day, the clock is off six seconds. Most people wouldn't care if they had a minute or two off, but it's my job, I gotta care. Next level. Shall we go onward? Outside with the bell. Still got a pretty ring too. And higher still. You can't have much gravity in your blood if you're gonna do this stuff. To behind the faces. Now, I gotta get you high enough, you'll probably have to get on this ladder. Four of them controlled by one assembly. Neil says most people envision this as dangerous work. But it's not the heights that bother him. His enemies are bees, rickety ladders, and rotten boards. That's yeah, pretty soft wood right there. Sometimes he goes to a fourth level. You guys scared of snakes? Not because he has to, <laughs> but just for the view. I doubt there's one up here, but I just thought I would ask. <laughs> and here you have to wonder if someday there won't be anybody to keep these clocks in tick-tock shape. Yeah, it does bother me because what's going to happen that your larger companies, they don't want to fix them. They want to sell you a new clock, and it's going to be a 20-year clock. That just seems like what everything wants to last these days is 20 years. When these, they were made to last at least 100 years. They'll do that quite rarely. This one's already done that. So the next time you pass the Kentucky Courthouse, look up. If things are working in a timely manner, chances are the clock man has been there.